it's actually review exponent rules. Exponent rules. So um, <clears throat> real fast over here, this says uh, let's simplify negative 2 times 5 times x times x times x times x. Let's simplify that. What do we get? Negative 10x to the fourth, right? And this says, label parts of this power using the vocabulary terms base and exponent. Can somebody tell me where the exponent is? Now I'm going to ask a harder question. What's the base? No. X? So what is negative 10? The leading coefficient. A coefficient. Yeah, it leads that term, but coefficient. I'll just call it coefficient. <clears throat> so anytime we have a power, it is the base and the exponent. But you notice in example, the exponent is not on the negative 10. Therefore, 4, uh, I'm sorry, negative 10 is not the base. It's just a coefficient in front. Okay. All right. All of these rules talk about everything we're about to do examples on. There's one major rule that I'm going to hit up on the next page. Does not work, does it? <clears throat> There's one I'm going to hit up on the next page that probably is the one that you feel weakest about. So we'll just see that on the next page. But if you need to go back, if you want to watch the video, I actually did examples for every single one of these, and then we ran out of time. So they did have some examples. It's just assignment examples. So this next page, this at the top is a, oh, what's, what's, uh, it's kind of a map. No, no. Okay, no. it's just like a graphic organizer. That's what it is. It's a graphic organizer. You do know PEMDAS, right? So I created this in the order of PEMDAS, but you will notice nothing here says parentheses. So just know, I know parentheses come first. That just has nothing to do with what I'm doing here. Okay? So I'm ignoring this P right now. I put this in the order of the E's and the A's. Okay? So that's how I knew what order to write this chart in. This chart right here starts with operation on like basis. So let me give you an example of a power on like basis. Here's an example. Did you just get your nails? No. <laughs> 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 yes, my, my nails grow that fast. <laughs> <clears throat> X to the third to the second. This is an example of power. This would say, hey, uh, this base, what's the operation for this base? You'd say, oh, it's being squared, right? You'd say that's a power for this base. But what actually happens to the exponents when I do a power. So here's 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 the long way if you ever forget the rules, if you ever forget the trick, the shortcut. X cubed times X cubed is the same thing as X times X times X times X times X times X. X the six. So what did I do to these? Okay. So here's the trick. If we are doing power on the base, you actually do what's underneath in order of operations. You do what's underneath to the exponents. So if I know my order of operations, if I'm doing E, which is power, I will actually multiply my exponents together. Okay? <clears throat> now here's a, here's a multiply example. Say so I have x to the third times x to the second. That would be x times x times x times x times x, x the fifth. Right, so what did we actually do exponents? 
well, here we are multiplying the bases. We're multiplying the big x's, the bases. But we added the exponents. So if you know your options, if you're multiplying, it's the next um, step under multiplying, which is addition. So looking at the other side, you don't know root yet, so we'll come back to that. We will be doing root in this chapter. Um, divide, if we have an example for divide, um, let's say I have x to the third divided by x to the second. It is, and if you did it the long way, if I did it the long way, x times x times x divided by x times x, you'd cancel out two of those x's, and you'd be left over with x. But if we're using the exponent rules, if I'm dividing, what does it say to do to the exponents? You subtract them. So this would be the same thing as x to the 3 minus 2, which is x to the first x. That's a very good question. Hold on. What if I had x to the 2 over x to the 3? It'll be one over x. Let's do it. Let's do it the long way first, which is x times x over x times x times x. That would cancel, and I would get one over x. So that is the answer. But if we use this shortcut rule, if we use a shortcut rule that says if I divide, what am I actually doing the exponents? So I would have to do x to the two take away three, and that would be x to the negative one. So that's something that we have to review from before. Any time that you have a negative one exponent, this means reciprocate. Is it just if there's any negative <clears throat> the negative itself says to reciprocate. If it's like a negative two, we would reciprocate it and square. Well, you didn't do the reciprocate. No. I'll, I'll write that down in a second. But um, so this means instead of writing, uh, let me write this again. It's reciprocate the base. It's reciprocate the base. So if I'm reciprocating x, I'm writing 1 over x. So that's how I would get the same answer for both of those. <coughs> we will be reviewing this rule. Um, I will come back to this. I'll come back to this in a second, this negative thing in just a second. I just want to go over, oh no, I guess I don't really need to, but why if I add, why is there nothing underneath it? What's 2x squared plus 3x squared? Like bases. This would be 5x squared. So if I add together, Basis, what do I do to the exponents? Nothing. That's why there's nothing under there. So if you're adding or subtracting, nothing happens to the exponents. So this is a graphic organizer to help you remember these rules. You can also do it the long way. This takes longer, but you can do it the long way. <coughs> okay, I'm going to make like a... Um, I might make like a little chart underneath these two sentences, and this might answer some questions. Um, what's to the first? Um, before you leave, dear, there is a worksheet up there. Will you grab it? Yep. Okay, to the first is two. What is two to the second power? What is 2 to the third power? 8. 2 to the fourth. What are we doing each time? Times it by 2. 32. 32. 64. Alright, I'm going to stop going that direction. <clears throat> now I'm going to go the other way. So negatives. I'm going to, well, 2 to the 0. If I am going the other direction, instead of multiplying by 2, I'm going to divide by 2. So this would be 1. And if I go to 2 to the negative 1, that's the next one down. Negative 
It is not. What are we doing? What are we doing if we're going this direction? So it would be one half keon. Once. We're dividing by two. What's well, one divided by two? Well, that was one. No, I'm just dividing this number by two. The red number. What is this number one divided by two? Is what the exponent is. You said that. I didn't know what you were looking at. Is yes. So these two things, the blue one and the red one, they're equivalent. I'm just having them on top of each other. We're following. So I'm following the red pattern by dividing by two. I'm following the blue pattern by just subtracting one on the exponent. But I'm showing you that these are equivalent. So I'm going to go one more down. So this would be two to the negative two. And then down here, it would be one fourth. So what this is saying is when you have a negative exponent, you reciprocate the base and square it. So if I did 2 to the negative 3, it's going to be 8, but I'm going to reciprocate it, so it be 1 eighth. Okay, so because of this chart right here, anytime the exponent is 0, Look in the middle. Anytime the exponent is 0, here it is right here, the answer is 1. This will happen every single time. If the exponent is 0, the answer is 1, every single time. And then if the exponent is negative 1, this means to reciprocate the base. The base. So now we're going to knock out some examples. If I do something and you get confused about what I do, of course you normally yell out, but, you know, ask. <laughs> I go down some real quick to see if they have an extra thing inside. Like An extra what? Oh, like they don't loan those things out. You have to buy them. 15 or $17. Okay, for a stupid pen? I'm sorry. That you lost. <laughs> have fun. It's not a pen, it's a stylus. Okay. <clears throat> I'll pause this for a second. Okay, now we're going to knock out some examples. So example one, it, you will notice for these examples, if you look through them real fast, none of them have addition or subtraction. It means that this is one term. That means you can put all this stuff together. You will not be distributing. You're just putting it all together. So when I have five squared, that's my um, coefficient. And then x cubed, what's y to the zero? One. Why is it x cubed? Because it's x cubed. To the zero oh, cubed, sorry. My bad. Okay. And anything to the zero power is one, so if I multiply 25 times one, I still have 25. And then z to the fourth. So when we're multiplying, we just put it all together. That's it. So you don't have the one part on there? We're multiplying. Oh my God. So, no. So the next one I kind of wrote over. It's a little hard to see, but 28x to the cube, and then we have y to the 0. What's y to the 0? So I multiply 28 and 1, and I get 28x to the third. Because <coughs> I make a lot of mistakes. All right, the next one is all multiplication, and you look at this and you say, these are all the same base. They're all like bases. So if multiplication on like bases, we add the exponent. Okay, so we got 2 plus 1 plus 3. I do that in my head. X to the 10th. So the next one, what is the squared on? Is it only on the M? Uh, is it only on this M? Or is it also on the 2? 
it would be on the two if it looked like that. So it is not. So that becomes that becomes six, and then we've got an m squared and another m, so we got m to the third. <coughs> all right, this next one. Since it's all location, I can take all the coefficients and multiply them together separately. Negative five times negative two times three times negative two. I hate talking over people's voices. Mm -mm. But I am recording a video that you can watch as many times as you want and pause it. No, you need to participate. You need to participate. But I am trying to hurry a little bit, Deja, today because we're about to go and not see you for two days. No, you don't. You, you have the XH block scheduling. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to go fast because I want to make sure you have enough material to get you through. Okay, I have done all the coefficients. Now, can I just add up all the exponents? No, because they're different exponents. Okay, so you can only add up the exponents on like basis. So we can add for the a, we can add the 2 plus 4 and get a to the 6. For the y, what am I adding here? Okay. <clears throat> Next is 6. What is this outside squared on? Do I do I put the 3 in first or do I square the parenthesis first? With PEMDAS, exponents come before multiplication. So we're going to square the x squared first. So that is where we're doing a power. And if we're doing a power, you multiply the exponents. And you get 3 and you get 3x to 4. <clears throat> Look at this one. It looks different. Oh, wow. So the 3 gets squared and the x squared gets squared. So we get 9x to the 4th. And one reason I am going faster is because this is not the first time you've ever seen this stuff. Okay. <clears throat> the next one, what is 4x to the 0? Okay, so that's 1 times. And 3x squared is 9x to the second. So it's 9x to the second. <coughs> okay. Here we got division. What is the rule when you divide? You subtract the exponent. So my first thing looks like 10 to the second minus third. So this means to reciprocate the base. Reciprocate the base. And you are correct. It is one tenth. <coughs> okay. When you have the next kind, I like to separate the numbers and the like bases and kind of think about them separately. So I'm kind of thinking about this as negative 9 twelfths multiplied by a a to the seventh over a to the third multiplied by a b to the fourth over b to the sixth. I like to think about them separately and then put them back together at the end. <coughs> How would I just do negative 9 twelfths? Simplify. Reduce. Same thing. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. So this is what I showed you yesterday, but I this in my head without having to show it. Like, I could cancel out the 3 from both the top and the bottom and get negative 3 fourths. <coughs> so 
Okay, for this one, we are dividing. So if we are dividing, what do we do the exponents? Subtract. You always subtract the top exponent minus the bot ex bottom exponent. And I get a, a to the fourth. That stays on the top of the final answer because it's positive. And then my next one, I get b to the fourth minus 6. I get b to the negative 2. So the negative part says to reciprocate the base. And then the 2 says square it. So yeah, we're going to do b squared, but on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so number 11, 10 is fine. Y to the fifth is fine. X to the negative 3, we can't leave because it's not simplified enough. So what does it mean if we have a negative exponent? It means reciprocate. So currently it is on top over 1. So when she says put it on the bottom, you have to know that right now there is a 1 on the bottom. So I'm going to move that down to the reciprocate it and we get 10 y to the fifth over x to the third. Is x to the negative 3 what? One third? No, because we reciprocate the base, not the exponent. It's reciprocate the base. Okay? And then keep the same exponent. Just make it positive. <coughs> All right, next one. I'm going to separate the negative 15 tenths, the x cubed to the fourth. I'm going to reduce negative 15 tenths to negative 3 over 2. And then with my x's, I'm going to subtract 3 minus 4, which is x to the negative 1. Well, right now, it is on top. When you subtract them, it automatically goes on top. Automatically goes on top. Here's another thing you think about. Where are there more x's? So this will end up done. It's going to be an x on the bottom. We got a lot of negatives here. A whole bunch. I think I understood what you're saying. Um, so the 4 does not have a negative exponent. What is my exponent for the 4? What is the exponent for the 4? So the 4 is stays up there. This is currently like over 1. So when we have the negative x to the negative 6, you reciprocate that to the bottom and make it to the positive 6. y to the negative 4, you move it down and you make y to the positive 4. It is, isn't it? That's the answer. Can you imagine if we didn't have to reduce this, how much more fun today would be? Yeah. I mean, if we didn't have to review this. Oh, I, thought you said I, I said the wrong thing. Okay, and then the last one, 2, 4, and I'm going to do x to the negative 3 over x to the negative 1. Cameron, do you already do this one? Do that one then. Did you get an answer? Did you guys do it? Josiah, you got that answer? Not yet? Negative two. Nobody knows because he's just yelling at random numbers. It's two fourths. Well, that would be one fourth. Over four x to the negative or x to the negative. Let's just look at two fourths. Just kidding, one half. Two over four x to the negative seven. No, it's one over four. One over two x. Two fourths. One half. Is one half. I was right. Thank you. Now, for the x's. You have the opposite, so it's three. Negative three subtract negative one. That would just be. That would be two. X to the. Negative 2, that's, that's so one half x. which is currently on top. Because every time you use the oh, yeah. subtraction rule, it's on top. 
So when I put these back together, this has got to go to the bottom. So on the bottom, I have a 2 and I have an x squared. What is left over on top? One. You have to have something there. Didn't you say that there's more, wherever there's more exponents? Yeah. Kind of. Are you thinking about, like, canceling for this one? Like, crossing them out the, the long way? You guys, he asked a really good question. And what I'm really worried, I need to pause. I want to demonstrate how I could do this last question, number 14, way, not using the tricks. Kind of, and I want to show you because I think this might answer your question. I think this might answer your question. Let's see. What? I'm so sorry. <clears throat> so if I do 2 to the negative 3 over 4x to the negative 1, if I do it a different way, Austin, what were you thinking? Well, because remember on number 9, I said there were more 3s on the bottom, so you said the exponent will end up on the bottom. Uh-huh. Kind of, but look, there's, if you look at this, it looks like there's more on top. But there's not because negative But they're negatives. I know what negative one's supposed to be. Yes. So that's confusing to think about it that way. I mean, you could think about it this way if you want. You can think about it that way, but that negative one will end, or the negative two will still end up on the top. So it eventually still has to go down the bottom. There is another way of doing this one. Maybe you looked at it and said, well, since I'm, I have negatives on what if I reciprocated both of them and I put x to the first and x on the bottom. What if I just reciprocated both of them? Well, what do you mean it wouldn't work? Okay. It's going to give you the same answer. And if we did it the long way from here, like 2 times x over 4 times x times x times x. Oops, that was a time symbol. And see, well, they're on the bottom, so the answer is going to have the squared on the bottom. There's like multiple ways this. I just wanted to go over the trick, the shortcut rules, because that's where people make mistakes. Trying to do the rules when you don't know the rules. So <coughs> you have a rule, a, a practice page, a practice assignment.